Hello and welcome to Selma City Schools Soup Talk, where you can find information relevant to our schools and our district at large. Please welcome our host, Dr. Avis Williams. Hello, Team Selma. Welcome to another episode of Talk Soup. I'm Dr. Avis Williams, Superintendent for Selma City Schools. And I'm Courtney Washington, a Community Engagement Specialist for Selma City Schools. Awesome sauce. I like your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's lovely. Yes. That's our phenomenal theme for the year. One team, one one voice, voice, committed to excellence. (laughs) And we are so super excited about that theme. And we're actually at the home of one of our teams, um, uh, Team MetaView, um, the mighty MetaView Lions. Go Lions. Um, Yes. And we're so super excited about the great things that are happening at MetaView under the leadership of the phenomenal principal, Ms. Pam Rackley. Uh, MetaView is our highest achieving school in the district. Yay! Cue applause. <laughs> um, and, and has done some phenomenal things. Yes. Um, and we're going to actually highlight um, some of our scholars I'm here from excited. Metaview. So, I'm so excited. Yeah, so you don't have to listen to us the whole time today. <laughs> We've got some um, amazing scholars who are going to share some of the great activities that they're participating in. Can't wait. Um, I can't wait either. Mm-hmm. But you know what? It brings us straight to the street committee Mm. and I know normally we ease into the street committee (laughs) but we're going to go straight head on with the street committee this time Um, and this is our segment the street committee said what Mm. yeah Mm. so we know that as a school district our primary focus is on teaching and learning Um, and so the street committee has asked you know well you guys need to improve reading and math why are you doing so much with steam Hmm. Um, And that's a good question, because we do need to improve reading and math in all schools. Um, But as a focus um, at our middle school and Mm -hmm. several of our other schools, we have um, a STEAM focus. And um, can you tell us what STEAM means? Why, yes, I can. (laughs) STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Yes, there is a focus. There is a focus, (laughs) yes. And so there's uh, lots of research out there that that shows that a STEAM uh, curriculum improves critical thinking and improves creativity. Um, And there's a lot of reading and math that goes into STEAM activities. And um, and we're going to see that, um, again, with our scholars that we have because they're actually going to demonstrate a STEAM activity that they uh, participated in and created here at MetaView. It's wonderful. And then the thing about STEAM is that it's engaging, it's interactive, mm-hmm. and um, a lot of our schools are making it project-based. So yes. our, our scholars are working in teams to create uh, these projects. And yes. So it's, it's still, we're still learning. Yes. And it's real world, you know, because yeah. in the real world, we have to solve problems every day. Right. And so problem-based and project-based learning um, gives our scholars an opportunity to really look at what the real world um, expects of them mm-hmm. as they move beyond high school into college and career right. um, and so this is really com- encompassing our why too mm-hmm. because our why today is why steam mm-hmm. um, and so those are just some of the reasons but I think after after we see what our scholars are going to dememonstrate the why will be even more clear mm-hmm. um, because we'll be able to see um, see and hear um, straight from our scholars uh, what they love I'm about um, steam <laughs> and the impact that they see it having right. in terms of their learning. Right. So um, I mentioned earlier there are special guests. Yes, you did. And that you won't have to listen to us <laughs> along for this whole segment. So it's not bad, though. <laughs> we're not that bad. <laughs> but we're going to take a, a quick break. And when we come back, we have some amazing scholars um, who are right here at MetaView. Um, and they're participating in the MetaView STEM Lab, Lions. Lions Lab, the Lions STEM <laughs> Lab, yes. Um, and this is part of our Academy of Academic Excellence yes. that's happening right here at Meadowview Elementary School. So we'll be right back with our special guests. All right, welcome back to Talk Soup. And as promised, we have some amazing guests. Yes, indeed. Some of our scholars from Meadowview Elementary School. Uh, we're going to have them introduce themselves and Um, As mentioned, you guys are STEAM experts. I don't know if I actually told our audience that, but these are the STEAM experts. I think they Uh, are. Yes, they are. They're going to share with us what they have created. So let's let's hear who are our our experts here. My name is Chastity Brown. I'm from Ms. Carmichael's fifth grade class, and this is my... Member, my Madison. name is Madison Boyd. Madison said I can introduce myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go on, Madison. I'm sorry. My name is Madison Boyd. 
My name is Madison Blue. My name is Caitlin Davis from Medivere Elementary, and I'm a fifth grader from Ms. Carmichael's fifth grade class. All right, fifth graders, mighty, mighty fifth graders. All right, so guys, thank you for being our guest today. Yes. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. We appreciate no you being here. Thank you. No so you introduced yourselves, and we've got another guest here. Who is this? Kachadison. Oh. And what, what, Kachadison, that's an interesting name. How did we come up with that name? Because it's a combination of all of our names put together. Love it. Okay. So Kachadison is a transformer? No. no. <laughs> um, a Jeep? No. <laughs> Tell us what she is. <laughs> She's a robot. Okay. That may be a Vex robot? A Vex IQ robot. That be a size of it. What's a Vex IQ? Wait, so this is a VEX IQ robot that you hand built? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> and it took a lot of trial and error to take out pieces, put the pieces back in so you can have it in the right position. Wow. Well, can you share a little bit more about what that looked like? Um, what, what's in these in these boxes here? In these crates are the VEX IQ tools that we use to create this robot. These are the pieces. These are the, the bars that we use to create, and those are the pieces that we put in mm -hmm. to make those they attach at the back of the robot. Okay. These are like gears. Gears. Okay. Yes. Okay, I see some gears here near the wheels. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And these are the ones that we use for the wheels and gears if needed. Okay. And at the bottom of the crate is the robot controller and robot adapter. Controller and a, and what? Uh, adapter. An adapter? Okay. This is the controller. Oh, so it's like a remote control. control. So this is a remote control robot. Yes, yes You can either remote kind of. control it or you can put in a program to make it move around. Okay. Awesome. And you guys hand built this? Yes, yes ma'am. For real? Yes, I love it. So so this was part of an activity, um, and, and I guess the topic is robotics, yes, as you say, and it's, it's part of engineering. Um, yes, ma'am. So do, do you guys, can you tell us a little bit about what that looked like in your classroom, how you came to build a robot? Well, of course it was our wonderful teacher. Yes, <laughs> of course it was our wonderful teacher. And tell us your teacher's name again. Miss Carmichael. Yes. And, and just, just as a point of interest, Miss Carmichael was Metaview's, well, actually, she's the current reigning teacher, teacher of the year. year. Mm -hmm. And we just announced a new teacher of the year for Metaview. So, Miss Carmichael is something else, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, you did this in class? As yes, part of class? Yes, yes sorry. sorry. So, tell us about that. We had to use this book to help us because it has the instructions of what we're supposed to use mm -hmm. and how to build it. Okay. So I see a lot of pictures. Um, did it require any reading or math? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. You had to read these codes at the bottom to find it on the chart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those codes uh, transfer to something that's over here. Yes, Okay. Now, I know, help me with this, because I know we talk about robotics, and then I, I know that part of what's happening at the Lions Lab and the STEM Lab is coding. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, is coding part of this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, because you have to use the Vex IQ app so you can program the robot, and then you can download onto the robot, onto the robot so you can actually move it around. Oh. You can program the robot to make sounds, and you can, you can also make the robot move for 90 degree times and any degree times. Wait, wait, you're telling me this robot will do that? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma we may have to get a demonstration yes. of that in just a moment. <laughs> and, we, yes, and we add a device, and the device we add is drive train. Okay. This is the drive train. Okay. When you say this is the drive train, meaning to make it move? Yes. Is that what that means? Okay. And we use a charger to download it. Okay. Um, to download it into the program? Yes. Oh, into the robot. Okay. This is complicated. Sorry. <laughs> so let me ask you guys this. Um, how do you feel that this and other activities that you may do around STEAM or STEM 
or helping prepare you for life, like for a career or what you might want to do when you grow up? You, you, you have to use teamwork mm -hmm. to build. Okay. Yes. And when you get in older grades, you'll have to either, you have science and math, different classes, so mm -hmm. you can have to get a better understanding of those classes. Mm -hmm. And STEAM really helps us get a better understanding of um, mm -hmm. all our subjects put together. Okay, and awesome. When you're measuring it to see how far it'll go, you have to use a lot of math that you use for real Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It, um, it helps, it connects because um, all for us, we use Scratch too. Okay. And this, it, it is Scratch, but we just add drive turn. Okay. And I do coding, so all of us do wonderful coding. Okay. And it connects with all subjects. Okay. And she's, she's pointing over here, and you're going to see what she's pointing at in just a bit, um, because Scratch, again, is the program for the coding, right? Yes. Um, and basically, it talks to the robot, so to speak. Is, is that a good way to look at it? Yes, yes ma'am. You can also use CS First, which is a um, computer science program where mm -hmm. you can go and program um, Scratch people okay. and they can move around and make you, you can actually make you a game of, of Scratch and CS First. Wow. We know gaming is a whole yes. career. Mm -hmm. um, Very big. Yeah, and so, so people who have this skill set, they won't have a problem getting jobs, <laughs> uh, whether it's in engineering or gaming or something of that nature. Now, is this something that you girls are interested in doing um, at college or as a career? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, good. Okay. I love the enthusiasm. I love that. I love that because there's a movement, Girls mm -hmm. Who Code, um, <laughs> and there's always a movement to ensure that we're getting um, more um, girls and, and more people of color mm -hmm. um, into fields that um, involve STEAM and STEM. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm so super excited. Me too. So we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, now, now what's, what's, our, what's our robot's name again? Kachatison. We're going to see Kachatison in action when we come back. See you in a bit. Well, hello again. And now, <laughs> and now we are going to show you how we set the drive train up to go through the bays. So First, we do the measurement. So first you want to measure how long each distance from the first point to the next point to see how far it goes. But you always want to make it a short get a longer distance than where the point starts at and it's because you don't want it to start with the so it can go all the way down. So from here it is 12, 24, 36, 48, and a little past 48. So 48 plus 6, 7, 55, 55 inches long. You turn. You left turn. Left turn. It turns left 90 degrees. How long? Well. 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 You turn the right way. Ninety degrees. Four. If you turn right, we're going to turn right for 90 degrees and drive forward 70, for 72 inches.
So we always like to add a sound in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we plug the cord the in so it can download download onto it. And then unplug. Download the first. Don't unplug it. So, as you saw, it went backwards. So that means our code was either wrong or it didn't have the right code back. So, now we want to go and redo it all over so you can figure it out. And I want to re download it. Okay. Yes, it is. Wow. So it didn't do quite what you wanted it to do, so you had to go in and reprogram, right? Yes, um, so there's a, a little bit of trial and error with this, right? Yes, um, you know, one of the things I love about um, the work that you guys are doing is that it gives us a growth mindset. Do you guys know what that means? Yes, ma'am. You do? What's it mean? It means you have to learn and get more understanding of what you're doing and yeah. why you're doing. That's right. And, and and it's okay if it messes up the first time. You learn and you grow from it, right? Yes, um, so, so that's phenomenal. And when I talk about the critical thinking that we get from STEM and STEAM, this is it. Um, because not only do you have to troubleshoot, um, but you have to really dig deep and work together, collaborate, and use teamwork to try to figure out what those next steps are. Um, and so sometimes you guys have to do this how many times? Like five, five two. Two. Two to, five. two to five times? Yes, yeah. Is it fun each time though? Yes, yes ma'am. Do, do you ever panic? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Sometimes. <laughs> because when we um when we turn when we um when we um use trial and error and when we uh, erase all of it, our librarian tells us to um, um rule it again because she doesn't like for us to um use our same numbers. Just kind of basically let's just Remeasure and, and try it again. Yes, yeah, yeah, and it takes a lot of time, but you know what? That's that's part of life. It's part of growing. Um, and like I said, it, it is part of what's going to help prepare you all uh, to do whatever you want to do yes. after high school. Yeah, it's fun because it's fun when we mess up sometimes because we can learn from our mistakes. I love it. I love and it. And when we use CS first, it'll tell you when you click on the one that you want to do. It'll tell you how long. You should actually spend on it. Okay. And like, if it say two to three hours, if you might sit there for two to three hours trying to get the right program. And right here it says tutorials. You can click on it and then it'll show you tutorials on what to do. Okay. So you can teach yourself some some different aspects of the program. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love it. Well, guys, you can make figure you. motors. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being our guest today. I applaud you, um, and, and you are really making the case for STEAM education. Um, so thank you all so much, and we appreciate you being our guest today. Yay. Um, yay. <laughs> Do the applause. <laughs> we'll be right back with our wrap-up of Talk Soup. So.
That was wonderful. Yes. I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that makes the case for STEAM education. It does. Um, and there's so much more to it. Um, you know, one demonstration cannot capture all that our scholars are gaining from um, the activities that they are involved in with STEM and STEAM education. Right. So uh, we'll, we'll show more mm-hmm. as, as the, um, the season progresses yes. um, and um, give other scholars at some of our other academies of academic yeah. excellence an opportunity to share as well. And I was just about to say that it's not just happening here at MetaView, all of our uh, schools are infusing STEAM and STEM into the exactly, curriculum. Exactly, yes. And all of our elementary schools have academies of academic excellence. Yes. And so we'll, we look forward to highlighting all of them as we move forward. Um, but as always, we do have a few announcements and um, shout outs. Yes. Um, so first, away. I want to start with uh, congratulating and shouting out our 2020-2021 candidates for Teacher yes, of the Year. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And so um, let me go ahead and say their names. Um, from Sophia P. Kingston, we have Ms. Shana Tyson. From Knox Elementary, we have uh, Ms. Vanessa Woodfin-Brown. From School of Discovery, we have Ms. Monica Russell. From R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy, we have Mr. Kendrick Office, or Coach Office. From Edgewood Elementary, we have Ms. Tamisha McCullum-Smith. From Metaview Elementary here, we have Ms. Rita Tarver. From Clark Elementary, we have Ms. Jennifer Heisch. And from Payne, we have um, Ms. Cynthia Green. And last but not least, from Selma High, we have Ms. Veronica Pitts. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations to, to all of our Teachers of the Year. And we will be announcing our elementary and secondary winners um, next week next very week. soon so um actually at our next show we should um be able to un- unveil who those winners are Yay. um and super excited for each of them mm-hmm. you know we've got some amazing professionals at we all do. of our schools so mm-hmm. congratulations to you all and um please go to our website and of course our social media facebook and instagram uh, their pictures are there their mm-hmm. bios are available on our website selmacityschools.org under the uh teacher of the year icon so just click mm-hmm. there and you can look at their pictures and you can read uh, just a brief bio about them and what uh, inspires excellent. them. Excellent, excellent. And we also the video is on our YouTube channel. Yes. So while you're watching Talk Soup, ch- uh, check out our Teacher of the Year video on the YouTube channel. And too. subscribe. Don't just yes. watch it. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, yes. and that way you will be able to access all of our content whenever mm-hmm. it's available. So as soon as you go to YouTube, Selma City School should be the first uh, thing that you see. Great. Awesome. <laughs> now, I know um, I, I wrote an article of, a few weeks ago and have had a lot of conversations about transporting yes. our scholars. Mm-hmm. Um, but we need to hear from you. Uh, so tell us about the survey that we've got out. Now. So our survey is available, again, on our website, SelvaCitySchools.org. I'll keep saying that, as well as on Facebook. Um, and you can also access it from our Instagram as well as from Twitter. And we are Selma Schools on each of those platforms. But um, what I like about this is that there is a QR code that you can mm-hmm. scan so you don't have to just go to our website to access or okay. download the and scan uh, the QR code and get the it. survey and you can do it right here on your phone just put your picture up for it and I'm giving a, a demonstration because I do realize <laughs> that a lot of people are like how do you do that right. but uh, open up your camera and just put the camera facing the um, the QR code mm-hmm. and just put it up close and it'll take you directly to the link yeah. and you can fill it out and you don't necessarily have to just be a parent right. or guardian of our scholars we do want to hear from the whole community mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um it will be available until you say it's unavailable. Yeah, we, we're going to keep it open until we feel like we've gotten a, a good sampling of, mm-hmm. of our community. Um, now, if we do move forward with this, um, we're looking at an early February start. Mm-hmm. Um, and right now we're looking at transporting our scholars to School of Discovery, R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy, and Selma High School, who live at least a mile and a half away mm-hmm. from the school. Um, so that's really our target and just wanting to find out more from our entire community um, about what the needs are so we can plan appropriately. Right. So you're hearing it from us first, so no need for the street committee to convene. The information is coming from us, but do we want your input? So yes. please provide that. Absolutely. And I would like to give a partner shout out to Hancock Barbecue. Mm. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support for Selma City Schools yes. um, and just always be willing to help. Anytime I, have, I, I go and visit, it's an automatic yes. yes. What do you need? And so um, we like that. Don't yes, we, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But we do as well. And so thank you, Hancock Barbecue, for all that you do for Selma City Schools. All right. Well, we are wrapping up our our first semester of school. Mm -hmm. Um, We have one more episode of Talk Soup before we break for uh, Christmas and New Year's. So uh, we look forward to seeing you 
at that episode in about a week or so. Um, But until then, keep tuning in. Keep watching us on social media. Like she said, like, follow, subscribe, um, because we, we would love to hear from you and we love your support. Yes. So until next time. Bye.